right, welcome back. Left you a little teaser there, didn't I? So we talked about picking up this, this marker or this pen, and we showed the different ways you could pick it up with the techniques that we've already learned. The last way you can pick this up <clears throat> is by looking at something that we call pivot it. And what you're doing is you're pivoting on your hips. So when you bend forward like this, whether to, be, to pick something up, to grab something, what you're doing <clears throat> is you're taking all of your upper body weight and you're leveraging it out over your lower back in particularly. But once you pick something up, you start tying in your mid back as well as your neck and your shoulders. So we're gonna try to change that technique to make it more efficient on your body, but also to protect your entire spine as well as your shoulders. Now, if you watch people who know how to lift, and by the way, this lifted technique, you've heard my story, I have two large herniated discs in my lower back. That's part of how I found some of these techniques. It's a hurt back technique. It's a hurt neck technique. If you've hurt your back, you've seen someone hurt themselves, they use these techniques inevitably because it's the only way they can function when they have an acute episode. So we're applying these techniques in a non-acute setting to protect our spines. But they will, <clears throat> if you've ever been in that scenario, you found ways to adapt to that situation, but oftentimes we revert back to our old behaviors. Now, if you watch, let's say, a golfer do something, or if you watch someone who is in an industry where they have to lean a lot, hopefully what they've done is they've learned this technique. So when Phil Mickelson puts it in, when Justin Rose puts it in, rarely do you see him do this to pick the ball up out of the hole, right? What they'll do is they'll use their hand, or they'll use their putter, and they will do what? They'll do this to pick it up. They pivot at the hips, we call it pivot it, to reach down and grab that. And here's why it works. When I stand here and I put my feet together and place them flat on the ground and I start bending forward, I can get to about here while keeping my back into neutral and my hamstrings tighten up. From here forward, it's all on my back. And if I have to reach for anything, not only is the weight of me, it's the weight of whatever I'm lifting that gets targeted on my spine. As soon as I lift one foot up, it allows my spine to stay in this neutral position, allows my hips to rotate, and I can literally go down almost to the ground. Now, that technique is very powerful to lift up small things. Heavier things, it's a little bit less effective because you only have one foot on the ground. So be careful with this. Now, again, you can tie into it, but what you're doing is, if you don't have anything to grab onto, obviously if you're near, if I have this pen on the ground and I want to lift it up, <clears throat> I could tie into grabbing this wall and then lifting my foot up and lifting. I'm just lifting it up. Now, you can bend that knee a little bit to get closer to the ground. You can also do this. You take your hand, your right knee, you put it on your left. It's called a crossover. Everything's crossed over, like cross-crawling for stabilization to pick that thing up and to lift. Again, it's just to stabilize this. Now, other applications of this, and we'll see some live applications later, is if you have anything that hits you in this waist level, meaning a countertop, um, you're at home, you're reaching across the table to grab dishes or something um, that's on like the centerpiece in the dining room table. We talked to a lot of our servers about this. In the restaurant environment, you're constantly leaning over the table to give people food, to pour water, to clean that area up. If you have a pickup truck or an SUV, you're leaning into it. All of those give you the time and the application to do what? To stand up and just lift and grab it. So if I've got a tabletop in front of me, I can tie into it, lean on the table, pivot, grab it. If it is you know, your pickup truck, tailgate's down, Try this one, stand up and just see how far you can reach and feel what your spine feels like. Then get to the same spot, do this, pivot it. You'll be able to one, reach further and you'll be able to take that pressure off of your back because now you're gonna grab whatever you're grabbing and you just simply use your leg as a counterweight and you bring it right to you. Then wide stance lifting up and there you go. So that is called the pivot it technique, try it. Anytime you have to lean forward to grab something, like for me, for example, doing dishes, standing in one spot for a period of time, which we're gonna talk about in a video here soon, is really a killer in my lower back. But if I can just simply lean forward, 
just a little bit, getting that leg off the ground and pivoting a little bit, it takes a lot of that lifting load off of my back and it puts it right on my legs where it belongs. So we're going to take a short break. In the next video, we're going to talk about standing in one spot for a period of time.